Welcome friends, welcome back to the hangar. Today is the day we are going to put on the Wing X wing extensions. And so this is the wing extension for the right hand wing. <laughs> it's gonna go out on the edge and you can see it's we're adding 18 inches of wing um, to each side. And so this comes as a kit. Um, the extensions are pre-assembled and pre-assembled by Andre. Andre, you put these together, right? You assemble these, don't you? Yeah. You, you manufacture these? Yeah. So Andre, Andre, our installer, um, actually manufactures the kits for Wing X. So I'll walk you through kind of what's in the kit. Everything is included that you could possibly need to do the install, right down to all of the rivets. Um, every rivet that you need comes and is labeled in these packages that lets you know where the rivet goes, what it's for, what, it, what you need to do to put it in. And there's also some reinforcing straps that you need to install um, because you're changing the wing loading. By adding 18 inches to each end of the wing, you're changing the loading of the wing. And so um, Wing X has done extensive studies and tests on loading the wing and seeing where the stress points are, seeing where the, uh, the fail points are, natural fail points in the wing. And then you add these straps into various places. So as we go through the installation, we'll talk about um, where these straps go. This is a stainless steel strap that goes in here somewhere. Um, not every aircraft needs to have it because some of the later model Cessnas um, come with this strap already included in the wing. This is an early model Cessna, it doesn't have it, so we have to add the strap. Um, seems like a fairly straightforward installation, but there are a lot of little steps. Let's get to work with Andre and, uh, and get this installed. So first up on the install, Andre likes to uh, put the extensions or fit the extensions onto the end of the wing. And in order to do that, he uses these pieces of aluminum angle. That's a must. It's a must. Yeah. It's a must. And so the angle, he'll, he'll sort of uh, strap it down to the wing. And then you can kind of see here how there's a gap here between this angle and the wing. It's flat over there. And so he'll put one kind of here and I think another one goes here at the, at the closer to the leading edge. This gap, whatever this gap is, carries on to the wing extension because you don't want the wing extension to come up or down. You want it to just sort of carry on the same as the end of the wing naturally was before. This is gonna be different on every aircraft and it may be different from side to side, right, Andre? Yeah. So from side to side, even on the same aircraft, this distance may be different. Too many wing repair on different jigs. Different jigs, yeah. uh, you know, this is a 61 year old aircraft who knows where it's been or what, what's happened to it during the time that, uh, that it's been out in service. So, pretty high tech, masking tape. And I saw earlier um, when we were talking about it, Andre just puts like some washers or some coins here to set or, or to figure out what it is. And then he'll just move them along out here to the edge as you'll see. So one of the things you're gonna see over and over and over again is there are measurements <laughs> that you're supposed to follow. Yeah. But there's a lot of finesse. There's a lot of, of, of tweaking and playing around with it to make it look right. And you'll see a couple of times, Andre's gonna walk away from the aircraft, stand 30 feet away and look back at it and say, does this look right? And then just make some adjustments based on what it looks like. Um, and not just about the actual measurements. You re may remember Freddy and I trying to do this. <laughs> in an earlier episode and completely failed. What, what Andre's doing is marking lines in an X to find this hole um, for the mounting points for the, for the wing extension so that he can then transfer those lines to the wing extension and draw the holes in the correct place. So how many mounting holes will there be, Andre? Oh, we need minimum five. Five, five on the underside and five on the top side? Yeah, minimum. Minimum. And on, minimum. 
And so on this aircraft, you're using some of the holes that were existing from this one, the... This one here. Okay. And those go into the rib. Yeah. And you're going to put nut plates behind? Yeah. Okay. So nut plates, nut plates in behind. The wing extensions are removable. So once Andre's got it all fitted together and measured and, and put together properly, and um, Chris and I will be able to take the extensions off if I ever need to, and then just move the wing tips back on. And so, of course, everything that we did on the underside, Andre is replicating on the top side. So I, 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 this, is, this is a point that I really want to make clear, is that whatever the space is here at, this, at, the, at the existing wing tip, we need to make sure that the same space out here when we put the extension on. You'll see it. As soon as we put it up, you'll see it and you'll understand what's happening. The wing arrives, or the, the wing extension arrives, and it's built in, you build it in a jig, right? Yeah. So it's built in a jig, and there's this rivet here on the trailing edge. That's what it comes for. Um, that holds it all together, makes sure that it's in the jig yeah. correctly. Ships with it, with this rivet. Um, in order to hold it all together during shipping. But before you start to do the install, you have to remove this rivet, or it's wise to remove the rivet. Oh. You should remove it. <laughs> yeah, because it's uh, very hard to fit after. Ah, yeah. So yeah. the rivet holds it together in a way that you can't really move it around and finesse it into place. So you remove this rivet, and uh, that's where Andre's going to start right now. Because you have too much wing different, you know, on the on the, yeah. the tip. That's why, you know, it's very hard. And you know, too many people try to fit with the, this. Yeah. Because Paul doesn't work, you know. Your man, you don't do the good job, you know. You have to remove that rivet because, you know, this one here is close. Yeah. That one here is close. That's close, and you lock here. You don't move like this. Yep. When you remove this, you move like that. You can lift in one side and the other side, it's easy. We, we show you. Now. It's busy. Okay, you see, you go like this. And you can go this way, and that you know you can you, you know you can fit you know because you know you can go like this. When you fit there, it's gonna be easy to fit. So pulling off the rivet essentially gives you wiggle room. So Andre's just temporarily clamping it in place just to hold it while we while we figure this out. There are stringers inside the rib, and so at this point what Andre has done is just push the wing extension on so that these stringers inside the wing are butting up against the, uh, the end cap um, just to fit it on. Andre works alone, uses a lot of tape. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh yeah. Have to put the same thing here. It's the same. Same. Put here. Go this way. And push. This one, like this one here. I have to remove again.
also it's absolutely incredible that Andre just grabs the piece of sheet metal, looks at it, massages it with his hand, and then it fits perfectly. <laughs> How many years of experience, Andre? Oh, 50, 50 years. I started in the 13 years old in the school, sheet metal. So, 50 years of sheet metal. 50 years of sheet metal experience. You were in the Air Force as well? So here's something that you're going to notice is that the trailing edge of the wing extension comes out quite a bit farther than the ailerons. Um, and so that gets trimmed off at some point. Yeah. So now using the X's that he marked out earlier, Where to drill the hole. Really easy way um, to drill a blind hole. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but you can kind of see in the hole how this is where we took out that rivet and the top skin, the top skin has shifted ever so slightly from the bottom skin. So the hole doesn't, the hole isn't round. And you can see where leaving that rivet in would have hampered the ability to shape the leading edge and fit the, uh, the, new, uh, the new extension to the wing. Subtle little things that you learn um, from the master installer. So the, the wing extension is manufactured a little bit oversized, which allows you to fit it to the vagaries of your aircraft, because everyone is a little bit different. And so what Andre's doing right now is marking how much we need to trim off of, of the wing extension um, in order to make it fit this plane perfectly. And so there will be on the trailing edge a line of rivets, and there's a doubler that goes in there to, or a stiffener, that's the parts we remove. And so we're, we're cutting, we're cutting this section out, and then there'll be so this way. Yeah, out to the tip. So there's that's the art. That's the art part of, of doing this is the is the tweaking to make it to make it fit. Yeah. Critical part. Ooh. Critical. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's good because you want to everything fit very 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 nice. You know. So Andre has shown me that there's a, a bubble strap. Yeah. So there's a there's a is a strap is here, here to go this way. And that's what we're reinforcing. Yeah, that reinforce we reinforcement here to here 24 inches. Okay. Long. And here in the center here, that we have another doubler. It's uh, nine inches. Okay. Nine inches total. We split for the doubler. The doubler is come like this and go like that. Okay. Okay, that's uh, the hold the strap here and here too. That's a splice. And so you need to drill out these yeah. uh, rivets here on the top. From there to there, that's 24 inches strap. I have to remove all rivet here from there to here. And between, we divide by two. Ah. So what Andre's gonna do is remove the existing rivets. Yeah. All of the new rivets that we need to put in come with the kit. 
but you're also going to double the pitch of the rivets by yeah, double by pitch of the rivets. so double, doubling the pitch of the rivets means that you're that Andre is going to put a new rivet in between each of the existing rivets. So there's yeah. two spots here where Andre needs to put uh, new uh, access panels yeah. in order to reach the top of the spar to 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 put these in. Yeah. Um, between station. 36 and 50, 54. So between station 36 and 54 are the recommended spots that give you enough room that you can get your arms and your hands in there to actually reach what you need to be, um, to reach the spots where these straps go. And, and center to center the stringer. Okay, center between the stringers. Yeah. And in the kit, um, all of the hardware to close up these access panels is, is, is included. And so here's what Andre was cutting, and I don't know if I can get my hand in there, but just see here how he's cut away right here. That will give him enough room. Can you see? That will give him enough room to get the, uh, the packer and the doubler right here up above. And he'll drill out these rivets and then drill the hole in between to double the pitch. Okay, you have to take the parts. This one here goes for the radius. So radius on fit, the... Yeah. fit very nice on the radius. Okay. So Andre's got it wedged in there with the screwdrivers and now he's going to drill Got a clico in. You got a couple, yeah. of, got a couple of clicos in, so it's it's firm. Now we put in the doubler. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have to drill all hole. Drill all the holes. Mark. Okay. And after that, I remove the parts. Yep. And I'm gonna use the part to make my doubler. To make the doubler. Okay. So some of it's done in the wing, and some of it's done on the bench. Yeah. Everything, of course, everything gets pulled out and deburred, um, cleaned up before being put back in and riveted in place. Packer, doubler, and bubble strap. Nope. Okay. okay, so we've got one Clico in, and they, they overlap over there. So that strengthens the outboard part of the wing. So the next reinforcement that we have to do is right here where the strut meets the spar. And this aircraft, because it's from 1961, needs to have this stainless steel strap installed just inside, in between where the strut... Because they are, it's a holder, yeah, because, the, yeah, it's a new one, it's, they got the big angle more. There's more, so yeah. if you have a newer uh, Cessna 172, there is some extra pieces in here that strengthen and stiffen it. This plane does not have that, so we have to put in this stainless steel stiffener. So Andre's drilling out a line of rivets here. We're going to disengage the strut from the wing, lift the wing slightly, and then this slips between the skins and then gets riveted back in. Yeah. Have at it, Andre. <laughs> A little bit of paraffin wax every time, just to lube it up. So 
So you're drilling through the skin, through the strap, into the spar. Yeah. Okay. It's all ready. You just have to remove one time. Yep. Clean. Clean deburr. And try your max. Okay. After that, it's done. I'm happy because I don't like the strut. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> And so the, and the Cherry Max, they come in the kit. The yeah. kit is complete with the, with the Cherry Max, yep. You put the Cherry Max here because yep. the stainless, you know, the, 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 the seal in, inside yep. for the shear. If you put the uh, aluminum rivet, they're going to shear. They'll shear off. We try. Okay. They'll shear all rivet. Okay. We put. So the Cherry Max are stronger than, yeah, because, than the. Yeah, uh, because of the, the steel the, the inside. The steel inside, yep. Not the same the other one. Yeah. The other one I did a bit here. And so as Andre just pointed out, there is some variation from side to side, yeah. wing to wing on this airplane. Yeah. And there's probably variation from airplane to airplane. So if you're doing this install, uh, take what we're doing as just like a general guideline because every Cessna 172, depending on the year that it was made, even if they were made side by side, is going to be slightly different. Now, the last piece of the Wing X extension install is uh, this strengthening strap that goes here under the trailing edge of the fuel tank cover. You don't have to take the fuel tank cover off um, Andre has made me a brand new one. Ours were a little out of spec and needed to be replaced. Andre's the guy to replace them, so he made new ones. The idea is that you just take out a few screws along this edge and along the trailing edge, and then you can slip this in. Um, it comes without the holes drilled already. You slip this in, Andre marked the holes, put the tank cover back down, and then just bolt back in. Um, and this gets sandwiched between the tank cover, which is structural on a Cessna 172, and the rear spar. And so it just gets sandwiched together, adds that extra layer of strength, really easy to do. We've got the tank covers off, which makes it even easier to show you what, uh, what's going on here. Okay, so Chris is just finishing up a job here. He's pushing that giant radial engine back out of the shop. And then it's time to take Mike Victor Uniform out for a test flight. Now, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the first time to fly it with the wing extension. So we've got 18 inches of new wing here. We've got the Sportsman stole cuff. And, I don't know if you can see them, we've got uh, Vortex generators. All of that. Um, should change most of the numbers, should take a, change the takeoff number, should change the stall number, should change our landing speed numbers and our landing distance. Uh, but we've also got a day where it's 35 degrees Celsius, between 32 and 35 degrees Celsius out here. Um, it's a little bit choppy. Our density altitude is probably 3,200 to 3,500 feet on an airfield that is 720 feet. Um, actual altitude. So we're not expecting great giant things um, in terms of climb or power uh, for today because we're, we're fighting some weather um, that we wouldn't normally have. But we're going to take it up and we're going to see what happens. So let's go.